Chrysler Town & Country 2007. If you're having problems with your doors locking, first you need to start with your fuses. Here in the fuse box, you take it off. You will need to take a look at this fuse. If it's broken, this fuse there, and this one. Should be good, the copper should be a circle here. If it's good there, pull these out, pull all three, just check them, um, and that one. And if those are good, um, then it should be good using your key to make sure that that uh, you're, you're doing everything right. Now for this one, I had two doors that the locking mechanism for the lock here um, were stuck. One was stuck in the locked position and I couldn't unlock it and one was stuck in the unlocked position. So I took out all my seats. There's, the, don't worry about the wheelbarrow. And um, I'll show you how it's done. So for the passenger side over here, um, it's very simple. You just take this piece off first and it will be hard. You gotta yank, yank, yank it off. This will actually be inside of there when you first start it, obviously. Um, but you yank it off and it feels like you're gonna break the plastic. But don't worry, you yank really hard and it'll come all the way off. And if it's, let's see, there is gone, it just pulls off. You have this black piece of plastic that covers everything and it just comes off um, like, like that, even over this. And then this is the um, foam. I found out that the words are upside down on it, so it goes in like that. You'll need to know that when you come back to it, okay? On the other side over here, mine was locked in the locked position. First you unscrew that um, Phillips there, pull that off, just set it in a cup holder back here, put the screw there, do the same thing, yank this off, take all the plastic off. With mine, I, I could do this all day long and nothing would uh, open the door. So I had to fiddle around until I felt the in here the mechanism unlocked. And if you kind of look at it, you have the, um, this here is the lock, unlock. So that locks it and unlocks it, but there's a mechanism in there that I had to pull in order for my door to actually open, open up like this. Okay, so once I did that, then I can't, this is on the other side. So if yours is locked permanently, you can open it up without having to take it to the dealer. So you have to use an, use an, an Allen wrench when the door is opened. Excuse me. You want to remove these three. One, two, and three. You don't have to remove a second set that's down here on the other side. See on this side over here. Oh, I'm gonna, I just fixed this a few seconds ago. Okay. On the other side over here, there's this other one. I'm not sure what this does, but you don't need to mess with it. You just need to do one, two, and three. Okay. That pops off the whole mechanism. Over here, I had trouble with one of mine. It was so old that I had to like uh, fix it. So. I used a, uh, yeah, see it just kind of spun around on me. I had to jerry rig something with my screw to un undo it. I'll show you the mechanism here in just a second. So back inside while the door is shut, just go ahead and, and uh, uh, pop this off by swiveling it, the plastic off of this wire here, and popping it off. Because this whole thing, needs to come out. There we go. See that? Alright, now what you're replacing is this black box right there. Okay? It's called a lock actuator. And the, um, the part that you buy, I bought mine from Rock Auto. It comes with uh, the passenger side and the driver's side because they're, they're opposites, but they still do the thing. So, the green side is for the passenger side. As you see the green here on the other side, it was red. And so if you need to switch them out, you just uh, make sure that the arrows are aligned up here and then unscrew that with a Phillips, put the arm on, make sure that the arrows are lined up on that arrow and that arrow there, and then re-screw it on. And, and you just use the same um, Phillips that 
that came with it, the old one. My other side of the door, it was so hard that I couldn't move it without a lot of force. And so no wonder this poor little motor couldn't shut it all on its own. When the cars get old, this gets old. So that's what we're replacing. So over here, um, now that I've taken this off, um, we're gonna unscrew that one with a little tiny um, Allen wrench here. And then um, we're gonna flip it over and attach this here. And then make sure that the new one goes around there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off, I'll show you. So for this job, you're gonna need an Allen wrench number four, an Allen wrench 2.5 for the job. The 2.5, um, undoes this little itty bitty one right there. Okay, so now we're gonna push. Oh, that was easy. It's a one handed deal there. There you go, it comes apart. And then this, pop it there, and it pops that off. Same piece of metal goes in there and pops that on. And you're gonna slip that right back over here. Um, and put it in there the way it came in. Don't forget that that little piece right there has to go inside that piece right there or nothing will work. And this should slip in there cozy like this right there. Put that screw back on nice and tight like that. Kind of helps to have somebody on the other side catch this if you can. But this goes in like that to where you can see those back in there. With my screwdriver, I was able to kind of catch this here and kind of set these back where they needed to be. And then I can put in, you know, one, two, three back in. Okay, after you uh, lock those in, you can shut your door, watch out for the dangly thing. And you can um, pop this, sorry, pop this back into here and um, record. There you go, lock it in place. And of course you want to test it out. So this is this is lock. And then oh that's unlock lock. It's working. It's working. Alright, I'll show you how to put it together. So remember in the passenger side over here, the foam goes completely upside down and nests like that. Then put the black piece of thing up as best you can do and get your panel back on here once you kind of hold the black piece up here. Now you do want to make sure that your panel has that black strip underneath here because that falls off really easy. Okay, so make sure that's there before you put that, that back on. Okay, and before you do anything else, make sure that that goes through. Make sure that's in there and make sure that this just goes kind of behind there. And really, this is like karate. You just go, hi yeah, 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 There, that looks pretty good. And then put this piece back on too, with a little bit of karate. Okay, don't forget to check it. Lock, unlock twice, because it doesn't open up the back doors unless you do it twice. There you go, should work now. Don't forget to do this last one. Hi -ya! There we go. Okay, it is so much easier to do this project with the seats out. So I would go ahead and lift all the way up very hard on here while pushing down. There you go. And then lift hard up on here and it releases there. Okay, once it releases there, underneath you got this bar that you pull here. Okay, once you pull, the, once it's a little farther up. I don't know why we're having troubles here. Oh, there's something in the pocket there. Oh, there we go. Once the seat is farther in like that, you pull up on this and you kind of rock it, uh, the top of it. You should kind of turn one way, or that way, or this way. That makes it easier to come out. So, let's see if I can leave this here. Yeah, so pull and go sideways. See that? And then you can lift the whole thing up and out. That really makes the job easier. You just uh, put it a little farther up when you come, and then put it down, and then 
uh, pull up on that to put it back in. 